twice. <clears throat> now I know I'm late to the party, right? This was this was like what three days ago now that this uh, little poll that uh, Mr. Eduardo Boone did. Um, there's something wrong with the picture. Something wrong with this picture. I'll tell you what's wrong with this picture. Right. Listen, come here. Listen. All of these things that are listed here uh, should be default. Like, it should have been default as soon as they started implementing any sort of network capabilities into this game. Right, I played in the Street Fighter 6 beta. I played in both Tekken 8 betas. And I'm... I think in the next day, the Grand Blue Fantasy Versus Rising beta is going to be available, which is going to be really cool. I'm so stoked to play that game, right? So I'm very excited for that. Now, I don't know what its options are when it comes to online, but I guarantee it's probably going to be a little bit more than Mortal Kombat 1. I mean, I know you decided to call it Mortal Kombat 1 because you thought you were clever. Oh, it's a reset the end of it. So we're going to call it something that everyone else has been referring to the first game. Right? No, it's not clever, bro. It's the stupidest thing you, like, your, you and your team have ever done. Stupidest. Did you not learn anything when Xbox called it Xbox One? Like, like... The argument people always come back with that is like, well, Mortal Kombat 9 was called Mortal Kombat. Yeah, but, and I know it sounds really weird, but it didn't create any of these problems. Because you can simply, most people just said, oh, MK9, MK2011. Have you played the new Mortal Kombat, right? Nobody had this issue, language-wise, when it came to talking about MK9. But for MK1... As soon as you, like, literally put a number in front of it, instantly it's going to get compared. Now, again, sure, the first Mortal Kombat was called Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 9 was called Mortal Kombat. But given the amount of time that had passed after Armageddon, and it felt literally like a harken back and a fresh sort of side reboot to the original... It, it's so weird. It didn't cause these problems. I can't explain it any other way. It didn't cause these issues. Am I not supposed to go back to the network options that the original game had? Well, that's right, it didn't have any. Oh, almost as bad as what Mortal Kombat 1 is right now. Oh, another day that he's whinging, another day he's complaining. Well, I tell you what, cupcakes, when I paid a hundred and something dollars four times over for this title, I expect a game that felt like it was made in the current year, particularly when the competition are doing it in betas. So he puts out this poll. We are working on additional online features for Mortal Kombat 1. You mean like the standard shit that games have been having for a thousand years now when it comes to online fighting games. Can't announce any day specifics at the moment. Of course, of course you can't, Boone. Of course you can't. Because you know what? That means that you would be held account. That means that you would actually have to make a promise and actually keep it. This game is so broken, it's hilarious. It's like walking into a psych ward psych ward with everyone off their meds everything is fucked right everything is absolutely rooted we got a new infinite now for sindel right you know guys you got like roof among us they're going oh it's pretty bad i guess if people are just doing 50 percent damage really you think so are you are you sure darling 
You really think so? I think anything over 30% in one go is a touch much, considering how brainless and easy it is for people to do. So he puts this out as a poll. There should be the fifth option, uh, all of the above. Yes to crossplay. Again, Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8 betas, all had crossplay. I'm assuming when Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising beta drops, it's going to have crossplay enabled too. I mean, how hard is it? How hard is it? It's not Viagra hard, is it? Ranked play switch from to from two out of three. Yes, 100%. That's exactly what I voted for. Right? Because everything else is going to come anyway. Right? We're going to get crossplay. We're going to get ping filters. We're going to get Wi-Fi filters. But, yeah, they put in a, a ping info. It's like, oh, gee whiz, now we can look. Now we can not only watch the slideshow happen, but we can also see the mathematics behind it. Thank you very much. Wonderful work. Thank you. It's fantastic. I voted for ranked play going down to the best two of three because I want these fights to be over quick. It is so slow. Do you know, more often than not now, the time is running out. But when is it when does that happen? Right? When does that happen? I'm literally having the timer run out in matches now. Because it's taken so damn long. Right? It's taking so damn long. All of them should be, you know, people go, oh, you know, we need three. All the, all the pro clowns, by the way, are advocating for this. Oh, it gives you, gets your feet wet, you know, gives you time to strategize. Listen, Cupcake, listen, just shut up. Right? It's, it's the same. Listen, this is how it is in the other fighting games. Best of two. Right? Best of two. Okay? I talked about this in a previous video, mentioning all this stuff, with Tekken 8 and Tekken 7. The matches are really fast, and you've got like three rounds, right? Three rounds each. You can go to like a sixth round, right? It's amazing, but it's so fast. It's so fast, right? So it doesn't feel like it's so long. Same with Soul Calibur 6. It has the same thing because it's so fast. This game is it's so weird. It's like putting like nitrous boost up a grandma's ass, right? So you can move fast, right? You, you click the nitrous button, she's whoosh straight across the screen. But as soon as she's like now starts to use her arms and legs, she's like, eh, 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 eh. Uh, cameo, come on, right? Like, it's fucking slow, man. That's why it's boring. The whole thing's boring. So all of the above, right? Where's my tweet? I, I think I put a tweet in here. Right, here we go. This is me. There you go. I said, remove the motion points for losing. That's a big one for me, right? You got rewards in there. This is why Combat League... Of all ranked modes in every single fighting game that I've ever played, it is the worst. It is the absolute piss worst because you got rewards in there. People look at those rewards and go, I want them. They look really cool. They jump into combat league and then when they lose, they only don't, they don't only just take this, right? They then get demoted as well. So then they get pulled further away from the thing, the thing they're trying to get. And that just creates aggravation and rage. But what it also does, it also means that people online, because of the way that the rank system has worked, are finding the path of least resistance. That's why you only see maybe five main characters and a couple of cameos, if that, showing up in Combat League. Because people are just trying to grind and power through it. Whether they're cheating or whether they're doing it themselves, it's boring ass gameplay. In the Tekken 8 beta, it doesn't matter. You choose one character, they've got their own leveling up system. There's no rewards though. You just rank up. That's it. If you lose, you stay put. You don't get demoted. You stay put. And then if you change to another character, 
they've got their own, own leveling system. So that way, it encourages you to even get into the more competitive side of the fighting, like, you know, fighting for the game. And it's like, oh, okay, I lost. That's all right. That's cool. I learned something. What can I do different? Right? You're not being pulled away from rewards and being punished for it. Typical American fucking developer, honestly. They're just stupid. Right? So remove that. I said remove rewards from Combat League. It breeds toxic and cheating behavior, and it does. You know how I know that? Because I see people, like, when they beat you, they keep doing their combo. Like, I'm already dead. They can see I'm dead. And they still do the rest of the combo. Because they've already activated that one button. Uh, first of two wins, not three. Obviously, we talked about that. It's just way too long for one person. Uh, and also, I think the most important thing, allow us to deny any ranked match that shows up that we decide to, to deny on, right? Right now, you can only deny unless it gets to, to too big a ping, okay? Too big a ping. That's the only time you can deny it, right? Oh, we can't do that. We can't do that. Shut the fuck up, right? Yeah, we can, because MK11 does it. I did a video on this channel with about, what, 10, 12 fighting games? I recorded the footage. I showed you all the options that you have available to put in place to either deny or, or allow everything from like different connectivity options to denying matches to yes, you approve a match or you don't approve a match, it just goes straight in. All these options available. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, seriously, just strap that saddle on that cock, Zupa, and just ride that fucking donkey in the wall, bro. Thank you, Mr. Boone. All these are important, but crossplay is by far the number one for most of us. Do you get chafing, bro? Do you get any chafing here? You must get a lot of it. Right, this is like, it's people like him and people like the shills and the combo clowns and the pro scene that all sit there and bitch and moan and complain because they think the game should be tailored to them. Me, I want the game tailored to everyone that can enjoy it. You don't cater the game to 2% people or the pro players that sit there and go, well, hang on a sec, I can't do 500 damage now. I, I This is a terrible game. Right. I watched a video by uh, Realm of Rage TV, great dude, he said something about the reason why people are dropping this, like pros and stuff, is because it's like an MK11 reskin. Now, he's half right and half wrong. He's half right in the sense that, yeah, like, you know, it, like they've obviously made some little changes, I prefer the aesthetic, but ultimately, it still has the same stupid ass, janky, stiff, Vacuumous engine that has come in ever since MK10. What am I talking about? It means that other fighting games, for example, if you jump away and they're trying to do their combo, the combo doesn't like suck you back in and keep you on the hits. If you're jumping away in other fighting games and they hit you, you'll you might get nicked, but you'll still with inertia still fall away or jump away. Mortal Kombat doesn't have that, right? There have been times I have tried to jump and their little low kick or low punch literally pins me to the ground. It shouldn't be like that because it isn't like that in other fighting games. That's what I say when it's vacuumous because or, like, or magnetic is maybe another term as well. It, it sucks you and it keeps you locked in. There have been so many combos that I've been watching on my screen. Some of the hits aren't even physically registering a one-to-one -one touch on the other character. The hitboxes are all over the place. And that's why these guys love it. That's why the little NRS fangirls love it. Because it's a broken system and they can exploit it. That's why you don't see them in other fighting games competing. Because in those fighting games it takes skill. You don't, you don't just get to sit there and have your broken shit. Right? You actually got to be good. And I think he said something. He goes, oh, uh, Sonic Fox is the greatest Mortal Kombat person on the in uh, on the planet is he is he really Sonic hoax is that right 
I'd argue that there are probably people online that we will never meet. You could probably destroy the absolute poo out of that dude. And don't take that in that way. I just realized what I said and that's really bad. But I take it back, All right? Let's just say destroy, All right? He's not the greatest MK fighter in the world. He's the greatest MK fighter who showed up to tournaments fighting a whole bunch of other people. Doesn't mean to say he's the greatest in the entire planet just because he got a trophy and some money. Right? This is why, this is why, like when it comes to other games, there are people that play games that are so knowledgeable and impressive. They're not at tournaments. They're not getting prize money. They're not making YouTube or Twitter or, or TikTok or whatever else. But they'll absolutely destroy you. Right? And I would argue it's them who are far more skilled than the propped up, you know, pseudo winners that we get. And this is, I want to finalize on this question because nobody answered this. I've been having some comments come through lately saying that it's all rigged anyway about who wins and whatnot. Is that true? I want some answers because I'm curious. Because I tell you what, if that is abs if that is happening, and the reason why some of these people are winning isn't because they're actually good, it's because they're actually being allowed to win. And you say, oh, that would never happen, that's rigging it. Yeah, because they've never rigged stuff before in the history of any sporting stuff. No, I don't know anything about this, but I'm asking you guys, the ones that have said this stuff, is that a thing? All of this shit should be in there day one. It should have been in there, in there in the betas. They should have run proper betas extensively to iron out a lot of these issues. And all the people, as as uh, Rage of Realm, Rage, uh, you know what I'm saying, dude, if you said it'd be a hey gun, bro, right? As they said, they got all the influencers out there to play their game. But it wasn't there to actually beta test, was it? It was there to just lick some nuts, right? So they can dangle them on their Christmas tree. Oh, look how wonderful I am. My God, like, jeez whiz. Like, what the hell happened to Mortal Kombat? What the hell happened to the community? I mean, literally people just infecting, you know, injecting soy up the backside or something. Like, it's just, what happened to the most metal of fighting games out there? We had tits, we had blood, it was just, rah, you know, metal. Now it's like, do you really think Casey likes Donny Cades? Really? I, I think I'm gonna go on Twitter and stand for that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw some weird Tumblr comics and, you know, I, I, I think so. What do you think? Just shut up, Jade Stands. Shut up, no one wants that bitch in this game, sister. Like, like, who gives a shit? about your weird fantasies. Can you please bring back Mortal Kombat with more than like two ounces of testosterone for God's sakes? God. This is, by the way, just to finalize. And I do appreciate everyone that watches my videos, I really do. This is the reason why they removed battle damage after MK9. Right, light up MK9 if you got it. And you can see, so if you go into the, um, what is it, the Necropolis, right, great area too. Go into the Necropolis, you can actually see the battle damage, you can turn it on or off for all the characters. Do it on all the females. Right? There's some serious side, under boob, boob window happening and stuff. They removed battle damage because they didn't want to have actual, like, oh my god, we can see, like, part of a curve of a boob. I thought it was the modern day. I thought we could free the nipple and all that sort of shit. <laughs> Give me a break, man. Right? This is a joke, man. We're, we're just taking the piss at this point and not even having the courtesy to call it rain. Like... Anyway, catch you next time.